Next for the Mets, number 87. He's got a chance number to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is in scoring position now with two away. This guy came into today absolutely on fire, and nothing has changed. He looks seriously hitterish at the dish right now. That's his third knock of the game. So now digging in with right a chance fielder. to win it here, Julio, Julio Santos, Santos, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Ball four, and that will move the winning run over to third base now, just 90 feet away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Now well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The Alfredo. bad news, a single but probably drives go. in a couple of runs. And he misses ball four, and the winning run will come in to score. So his patience pays off here in the bottom of the ninth. Man, that is a tough and anticlimactic way to lose a game. But that's the price you pay for loading the bases in the ninth inning. One or two Aaron pitches, and the game is over. Exhibit A right there. Not a lot of fireworks, but that narrows the candidate list for our top player of the game. And the man you see here was a key contributor, so he takes it home in this one. Yeah, he wound up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't get the toughest one of them all, a triple, but it was still an outstanding showing with the bat. 